What's good y'all, Friendly Legends here for another collection video. This isn't everything, but it's just about my full Pokemon TCG collection. I've been collecting this card game since I was in 4th or 5th grade. I'm 28. There were definitely long pauses in that collection, um, which are pretty apparent for anyone who plays the card game. You can see the gap kind of go over what you're looking at for those that don't know and are at least somewhat interested and for those that do know go into a little bit more depth with what this collection is what pieces I still would like to get and so on and so forth so starting off the top those are my oldest sealed booster boxes of Pokemon trading card game on the left we have a base set the original set sealed never been opened it is not first edition, however, it is still very rare because on the side of the box is printed a green wing Charizard. Give me one second. That green wing indicates that it is most likely a shadowless box. Um, those were only in circulation for, let's say, a month, a couple weeks, something like that, and then it switched to a totally different graphic of Charizard with blue wings instead. And those were the unlimited boxes which stayed in print for about two years. So much more common compared to that one month of printing. Next up we have first edition jungle, second set. First edition fossil, third set. I actually bought this box as well as a kid, just like I did as that box. Left them sealed all these years. Um, the jungle I went back and got maybe three years ago online for about 250. Nowadays it goes for about 1,200, so it's definitely increased a lot over the past three years. I also went back and got that Team Rocket box for around 300 which nowadays it's about an $800 box. Here we have um, an EX set, one of the first, Ruby and Sapphire. There were other boxes that I did get, Gym, um, uh, Base 2, uh, Legacy Collection, and some of the e-reader sets, but I opened them rather than keeping them sealed, and most of those I only got one box, whereas back in the day a lot of these earlier sets you know, I was getting boxes, let's say once a month, every few weeks, whatever it was. So it was a little bit more likely for me to keep a box sealed because of the fact that I had already gone through most of the set. The next shelf um, is my sealed boxes from the past three or four years. I got back into the game at X and Y base set, but then I went back and got that Plasma Freeze box, which was a little bit older, maybe a couple months old at that point. I don't know exactly for sure. Pretty much through X and Y I got mostly every box. X and Y I got when it came out, X and Y flash fire. I also got one that I kept sealed which was a good move on my, part, on my part because I knew that the value would go up and sure enough it has. Furious Fist, Phantom Forces, Primal Clash I got a bunch of boxes of. have one sealed there as well. I think I got like four boxes of that set. Uh, Roaring Skies, another one that was definitely worth keeping sealed. Uh, Dragon's Exalted um, came out before X and Y. I just kept it sealed. Um, I got it for cheaper. I forgot exactly what the price was. Um, then after Roaring Skies, Ancient Oranges. This is where I started getting a little bit of fatigue with the game. Wasn't keep keeping up with it as much. Um, for Breakthrough, I got a box. Breakpoint, I got a box. And then I think there was two or three sets, Fates Collide, Steam Siege. Those might have been the only two. Maybe there was one more that I did not get. I also didn't get Evolutions technically. It was a gift, a Christmas gift, so thank you, Darius and Jay. I opened that up, but I do want another one to keep sealed. Here are, as I stated before, the sealed boxes that I've gotten in more recent years. And I have a sealed Sun and Moon right there, which I will be opening soon. Here's a sealed Elite Trainer box for the 20th anniversary. I only bought the one. I chose not to open it because I didn't feel like I really needed any of the cards out of it. Just a cool collector's piece. Some of my fat packs, I definitely have more. Um, there's two Primal Clash and one Plasma Storm right there. Now onto the sealed packs. I have some sealed blisters. Jungle, all three artworks. Fossil, all three artworks. I have two of the three or four boundaries crossed. I have one unseen forces. 
I have a variety of packs that I've gotten at Target or Walmart over the years that I've kept sealed. Probably going to try and go through as quickly as possible uh, soon and complete some of these sets before they are fully out of print. Next up, I have some of the mythical boxes from last year. Last year being the 20th anniversary, they um, did these special boxes with special packs that came with special pins and guaranteed legendary card with the two generations packs. I have some duplicates back there, a Dark Rye and a Jirachi, I believe, are the two back there. Here is a cool promo blister that I kept sealed of that Pikachu Ditto. Azernius Evital deck that I kept sealed. Mewtwo and Pikachu decks from Evolution. These are reprints of the old cards kept sealed. When I was in Japan, also reprint starter decks in that same style as the original box from my childhood with just updated cards. Some binders with uh, some complete sets and then others are just random cards. Various binders I had as a kid um, with different cards, promos, and whatnot. Here's a deck box from the World's um, event a couple years back. My homie Kyle picked this up for me, as well as the playmat. Here's one of the little containers I used to carry a lot of my cards. This was back when the Nintendo store in New York was actually the Pokemon Center. Um, little carrying case. This has most of my more recent EXs and hollows and stuff like that. Uh, the fat packs, as previously shown here, usually come with books. Here's all the books from the fat packs I've gotten over the years. They give you like little tips and stuff. Uh, first of all, they show you the full set, and then they give you little strategies of you know some of the newest combos and stuff like that. And here we have a bunch of my tins. I just set this up so they're not really organized, but they have various different things in them. Example, this one is filled with um, little starter decks. So if anyone wants to come over and, and play the game, then just pre-made basic decks are good to go there. Then there's other various things. I know this one right here is filled with energies for when I'm building decks. And then I have some that are like filled with trainers. This one is filled with different packs, different coins and stuff like that. So I use each of the 10 to kind of sort through some of the cards. And yeah, like I said, this isn't everything, but it's most of my uh, Pokemon TCG collection. And I finally have it all on display set up right next to my video game collection, which I'm still slightly building out. But yeah, the gaming wall is looking good. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll be back with more collectible videos. Peace, guys.